Yo, YouTube fam, what's going on, man? Scott Lennox here. Thanks for clicking into the channel. So, I'm in the backyard today because um, just a few minutes ago, I was in editing this video and realized that several portions from my GoPro Media mod had zero audio. That sucks. Um, settings were all correct everything was good to go from what seemed like my end but um, the audio non-existent so i'm going to voice over some of it um, but doing a little tall tog fishing gonna maybe try a flounder drift with my buddy brian minty from sunset provisions but there's some tall tog at the south jetty um, and we're gonna go see if we can catch a keeper 16 inches we need to get to but i got to put the new uh, deadly tackle fishing rods and the deadly tackle tog jigs to the test now that there's some fish out there so um Picking Brian Minty up right there at the marina where I keep the boat, heading over to the South Jetty, doing some tall fishing. Let's get into it. Maryland Department of Natural Resources. Appreciate you guys. This is not a bad drift, Brian Minty, but water's a little cold, man. It's down back in 49 now, so. That's a little chilly. Drift number two, no bites, but also no surprise either. Um, we'll give it one more and then we're going tog fishing. Third time's a charm. And even if it ain't, we're leaving going tog fishing. Guys, check out this new combo. Yep. Speaking of Brian Minty, he's gonna have them in Sunset Provisions. There's our new Deadly Tackle casting rod. And this is the Shimano Cardiff 200A. Absolutely perfect for this. I like these round reels. You can palm this bad boy. It's nice. Perfect for this inshore stuff. All right, strike three, man. We said three drifts, we did three drifts. No nibbles, so it's off to tall tog fishing. Let's go. Let's do it. And if we don't catch something tall tog fishing, you and I are gonna have to talk. All right, man, so no luck on the flounders. We didn't expect much there. So we are gonna come over here to the south jetty, try some tall tog. It's got an outgoing tide. Fish have been biting pretty good. Um, it sounds like on the outgoing tide. We just passed a gentleman up here in front of us. He's got three keepers in the box. So that's a great sign. So we are going to put on some tog jigs. Uh, we're going to get this Minn Kota Tarova overboard. And we're going to see what we can do, man. Um, got to try to catch, right? So let's get rolling. All right, so we got a nice bite on the jetty here. Uh, we are gonna be using tog jigs, deadly tackle tog jigs. I'm gonna start with the three quarter ounce and we're using raw shrimp, simple as that, man. I got these at Crabs to Go. You can get them in the local grocery store, but Crabs to Go is my spot. They're fresh and it's real simple, man. All you gotta do is take it, put it on the hook and then I'll usually like to turn it over one more time. So you got like that and that tog will come in there no problem and get through that fleshy meat and get on that hook. We're gonna chuck it up into the rocks, let it just kind of drift and bounce around. If we need to, we'll put a heavier jig on and drop it right beside the boat. good start man so a little switcheroo here we had uh, we had three quarter ounce jigs on was not enough so move to the ounce and a half to be able to hold the bottom and bam right off the bat I get down to the bottom I got bit right away so let me show you the D hooker guys if you don't have one of these if you don't have a D hooker get one they're so simple it's just a little curved piece of metal sometimes on a, on a wooden dowel Sometimes they're on plastic handles, that sort of thing, but they are absolutely awesome. It's just a matter of putting the jig on the curved part of the metal rod, 
pull the line down toward the water, a couple of shakes, and your fish is loose. All right, B Minty, we're on the board, baby. Let's do it, buddy. I got snook. Tog are very, very tricky, guys. Very, very tricky. They got those rubbery lips. They just kind of mouth on it, and then when you know you got a good fish on, when he picks it up off the bottom, you get a fish that picks up off the bottom, make sure you set that hook right away because that's usually a pretty good one. That's all you need sometimes. You ain't in the structure, you ain't getting bites, baby. What's up, Minty? Got it, baby. Yeah, it baby. Might be the same one you had. It might be, that is a female. <laughs> yeah, nice work. Yeah, buddy. What'd you catch that on? Ah, I caught that on a fishing OC tall jig, baby. I'm sorry. The deadly tackle tall jig. <laughs> well done. Ounce one and a half. Oh, look at that. You got it off by your hand, too. You didn't even need it, yeah. D hooker. Pretty work. Probably nice. better off doing a D hick of that, huh? Yeah. Tautoga Oneidas. Otherwise known as blackfish. You can see why. Pretty dark. Alright, man. That's a couple, Brian Minty. Okay. Yeah, man. And Brian and I just felt like coming out here and just catching something, you know? Tried for that first flounder, no luck. Out here on the jetty where the tog have been biting, caught a couple of those fish. I'm having fun. Couple, yeah, absolutely. A couple different species. Yep. I like it when you don't have to hook them. Nice, man. So there's a difference between the male and the female, guys. Those females we've been catching, they're all kind of dark black. They don't have this little uh, spot on the side like the males do. You can see the males are more of a dark gray kind of color on top and then very white on the bottom. Uh, so that's the difference between a male and a female tall tall. And for some reason, I find the males fight a little bit harder as well. But there you go. Yeah, baby. Nice fish, man. Thank you, sir. the bite while we're sitting there talking about it. Oh! <laughs> Yo, well, I missed the bite. <laughs> uh -huh. What's going on, man? Yeah, buddy. I found the hole, man. I found the tall yeah, hole. <laughs> found the tall hole, baby. There you go. And just that quick, we can compare them again. There's the female. Darker on the top. Much, much uh, darker on the bottom than the male is. The male in the same size range is that guy I just released a second ago, right? He's gonna be that real white on the on the bottom, kind of a dark grayish color on the top. These are more of like a blackish brown color. Awesome fun fishing, man. We're not even measuring these yet because fish have to be 16 inches to keep them, and we haven't gotten close. We've had a couple of 14, 14 and a half maybe, but nothing, nothing close to 16. D hooker, son. 
Oh what? Let me guess. You missed another one because I was talking. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Talking, bro. Talking. Give me a chance to look at those teeth. That's what they're down there chewing on crabs, mussels. They love sand fleas, that kind of thing. They obviously like shrimp. And those teeth right there are doing the job. Face only a mother could love. All right, no sound on this clip either from the uh, media mod, but I wanted to give Brian credit for this tall talk he catches here before we head over to Martha's Landing. All right, a productive time over here at the South Jetty, uh, but this current's really starting to fly out. So when the trolling motor starts getting maxed out, that's usually a little bit too fast for Tall Tall. We still had a couple bites, but uh, we're having a harder time holding bottom. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna move over to Martha's Landing um, on the west side of the bay. Try that for a couple of drops and then. So this is what we refer to as Martha's Landing. And that's because of these um, homes right here, right? It's at the end of Martha's Landing. There's a big community over there in West Ocean City. Um, you cannot fish over here from shore. It's all private property. Homer Gadelsky Park is right around the corner. Not the greatest tog fishing, but you can do some beach fishing there and catch flounder and uh, even sharks and things like that from that beach over there. But we're tall tog fishing, and this is a great spot if you have a boat to fish from, especially if the weather's not cooperating. If the, you got a big swell in the inlet or you got a wind blowing out of the east strong right down in the gut of the inlet, and you just can't fish the inlet because of the conditions, this is a good spot you can get tuck in close, especially with a west wind. It can be blowing 40 miles an hour out of the west and you can still fish this Martha's Landing spot. It can sometimes get crowded. Over the next couple of weeks when the fishing gets good, uh, you'll see seven, eight, ten boats up and down these rocks. And that's just because it's become a really great spot for uh, tall tog fishing. And it's no secret anymore, so I don't want to hear any lip about giving away secret spots, right Brian? Brian tells people in Sunset Provisions all the time, go to Martha's Landing and try the tall cushion there. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a great spot. Um, we might be after hours for tall. We're gonna fish for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then... Uh... Oh, I knew it, Minty. I knew we were gonna get a bite over here, Minty. I knew we were gonna get a bite over here. There you go. What's up? Nice. There you go, brother. Pretty work, son. Hey, buddy. Pretty oh, work. Oh, oh, that's all right. Well done, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right, so cool trip with Brian. Had um, eight or nine or so uh, tall tall there at the South Jetty. Had that one there at Martha's Landing, and then the sun started to set. No luck on the flounder. Um, as of yesterday, um, that fl first flounder of the season is still out there. Um, so somebody's gonna catch him probably in the next week or so, but the weather for March has sucked. And the first part of April doesn't look much better. Looking at some wind, rain is coming again tonight, tomorrow. Um, so hopefully this weather pattern breaks and we're able to get out, out there on the bay because fishing is really getting pretty good out there. Rockfish at the Route 90 bridge. First flounder should be caught here in the next week or two. Um, and those tall tall will be stacking up at that jetty even heavier over the next couple of weeks. So as always, appreciate you clicking into the channel, watching the vid. If you have any questions, drop those in the comments. As always, like our social media, iFishingOC on Instagram, FishingOC on Facebook. All of our gear is at deadly-tackle.com. See you next vid. Peace. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wait.